Hello food fans, in a different location today. My, I'm in storage building number two and I'm cooking up some ground beef. Gonna make some hamburgers and these will be big hamburgers. I've got one pound of ground beef, 80% lean, 20% fat and I'm going to uh, be making two hamburgers out of that, so two double quarter pounders and uh, I will have a potato. Let me get the potato. I'll slice that up and fry it while I'm frying the hamburgers and I will add an onion to it. Not the whole onion but uh, enough to give it some flavor. So let's get started. While the two supersized burgers are frying in a frying pan, to add a little bit of onion here to it to flavor it. And a little bit more. And slice up some potatoes here in a minute. And we'll slice the potato a little bit here. And potatoes are one of the lowest cost food items that you can get per pound if you buy the 10 pound bag of potatoes at any supermarket. That's enough potatoes for right now. Those burgers are going to be pretty big. There's my hand. And the burgers are going to be well done. I like to look to cook them for a long time. And I will turn off the heat, let this cool down a bit before I consume it. Well, it looks good enough to eat, so we might try some here. And uh, be careful not to get burned. And this is a big big hamburger. I'm going to try some um, potatoes here. This is fried potatoes. Still plenty hot. I like fried potatoes. I like potato chips. I like mashed potatoes. I like boiled potatoes. And I like to leave the peelings on the potatoes. Hope you've had a wonderful week. We're looking forward to a great weekend. I've got some ketchup and some relish on this. And this is a big thick hamburger. Let's see if I can uh, keep from getting too much grease on myself. The ground beef does have a good flavor. And if you uh, cook at home, you'll save a lot of money from the fast food places. It's going to cost you about half of what you would pay if you went through a drive through to buy a couple of burgers. And these are huge hamburgers. It's twice as big as a quarter pounder. Quite tasty. And the prices keep going up. It's A and W root beer. Not sure where I bought this. I 
have some coleslaw here. It's basically a cabbage salad. And I like to have cabbage every day, as the uh, viewers know. I would recommend not having big servings of ground beef more than a couple of times a week. Moderation is good for you, but not too much moderation. We can talk a little bit about insomnia for anyone who has problems going to sleep at night. Ground beef is good. This is better than any drive through burger at a fast food outlet. And most of the flavor is from the beef. Insomnia. I think most people who have insomnia have an ability to have more control over it. Keep in mind if you've just gone through a great family tragedy of some sort, or if there's just been a big earthquake or tornado or something happened during the day that was very devastating, you're definitely going to have trouble going to sleep and it's not your fault, that's just normal. Some things occupy the mind more strongly than others. But assuming you've had a reasonably normal day, the best way to go to sleep at night is to not try to go to sleep. There is no button on your elbow or tip of your nose or anything that you can press and say, I want to go to sleep. Sleep finds you when you're thinking about something else. And when you lay down at night in the bed, if that's how you rest, There are some things that you can do that will make it easier for you to doze off. Don't have a clock in the room where you can see the time. Turn the face of the clock around the other direction. If you have an alarm clock, it will make its alarm at the time you set. Think about anything you like that's pleasant. Your top ten favorite movies, your top ten favorite records. Wonderful family get-togethers that you remember. Quotes that somebody said that you found particularly funny. Think about good thoughts, if possible. And when you lay down at night, you're not laying down to go to sleep. You're laying down to get some rest. Don't think there's a uh, way that you can say some magic words and sleep will come. 
think of resting your muscles, your bones. All you want to do is rest. Focus on resting. Do not get into the so, so, therefore type of thought where you say, well, I couldn't go to sleep, so I got up and made a sandwich. I couldn't go to sleep, therefore I went for a walk around the block. Lay in bed and get your rest. Focus on the rest. Sleep finds you. You don't summon sleep. You don't say, sleep, come here. I am fortunate to be able to lay down and go to sleep without trying. But I've been very lucky I don't have to get up early in the morning and go somewhere. I don't have to worry about whether I have all the documents I'm supposed to have with me. It's still a very big hamburger. Get some fried potatoes. There's fried potatoes and fried onions in the pan here. And remember, I won't repeat this meal this week. It would be possible to eat too much of the fat from ground beef if you have it every day. I recommend once or twice a week for something like this. Get a little more coleslaw also. This coleslaw came from um, Walmart. That's pretty good. This is my number two storage building. I have water and electricity in this building. I have an air bed here. Some shelves. And the kitty cats run around in front. Of build number two ground beef sandwich. Some root beer. Mm. 
A person could actually live in this building. I wouldn't rent the place out, though, for a couple reasons. Um, mainly, when you pay property tax here, you have to fill out some papers if you rent your property. And uh, it becomes pretty involved. Tennessee real estate has gone up in value. This little building, if I wanted to rent it out, <clears throat> I could rent it for $1,000 a month. And just hearing that number sounds like it's impossible to me. I'm, I remember when I was uh, going to grammar school, the house we lived in, three bedrooms, one bath, front porch, back porch, attic, basement, two car garage and back, $35 a month. That was in Hammond, <clears throat> Hammond, Indiana. I don't know what Hammond is like now, but it used to be a nice, prosperous city. It was located near the steel mills, so a lot of the people who lived in Hammond worked in Gary, Indiana, but they spent their money in Hammond. I'm pretty amazed by the AI possibilities and the chat GPT that if a person wanted to write a book, if you have a plot idea, go to chat GPT, tell the book or tell the chat platform that you want to write a book about whatever, and you want to see what the first three pages look like and maybe what the last three pages look like of the book you're about to write. And it might take 30 seconds, but you'll <clears throat> get a very good response. You have to be careful. and check everything that ChatGPT tells you because maybe they gave the same advice to someone else and someone else already wrote the book and had it copyrighted. I think it's actually possible that as soon as five years from now one person could make a really good multi-character movie for uh, YouTube. People do make good movies now. Sometimes one person makes the entire movie, but I have yet to see a one-person movie that was sensational and up to the standards of, say, something like what Cecil B. DeMille might have produced or directed or Alfred Hitchcock might have directed.
and I do believe that the future of show business is not Hollywood. It's something like YouTube or TikTok. And it'd be possible to have 10 million subscribers at YouTube. You could have that many subscribers and most of the world would not know who you are. You can be a celebrity and still walk down the street unnoticed if you're known by only 10 million people. But you will make a good living. Good beer time. Whatever you do entertainment wise, singing, acting, dancing, you can actually become very successful. You can make more money than movie stars make today in just a few years on your own at YouTube, multimillionaires will be common and still they'll just have limited um, popularity. This hamburger is good. Now we have a secret dessert, so secret I didn't even tell you it was a secret. This is from Walmart, it's a blueberry pie, individual size serving. And it's less than a dollar, got a nice crust on it. Lots of blueberries. This is a very good pie and a good size serving. Blueberries, blueberries taste good. There's a bird outside making some noises. I have lots of birds in the backyard. I have uh, kitty cats. I've seen rabbits in the backyard. I've seen snakes in the backyard. There's a pear tree, 
two peach trees, some grape vines, This is very good. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for helping me fix the fence. Tell everyone I said hello. Thank you for watching.